Hello, this is uh, question 7 in the P2 section of an OCR gateway specimen paper. This question is about the universe. Look at the following information about the Copernican model. So I suggest if you don't remember much about the uh, Copernican model of the universe, uh, that you have a little look back even before you attempt this question. Um, assumptions held back the development of modern astronomy where the Earth was at the centre of the universe. So it's easy to assume, isn't it, if you don't know much, that the Earth is at the centre. There was uniform circular motion in the heavens, so they believed that all the stars and planets just rotated in big circles um, around the Earth. Objects in the heavens were made from special unchanging substance not found on Earth, so they believed that the further away from Earth you got, you, things changed and there was nothing like the heavens here on Earth. During the life of Copernicus, he challenged assumption one. So he said, no, the Earth is not the centre of the universe. He challenged that. And he actually did not challenge assumption two. He did not want to say there was uniform circular motion. He had no way of saying that. But he also did question the fact that the um, Earth is not different necessarily Okay, a special substance that in the heavens, the Earth is just another planet. So he did say that. Now, after the life of Copernicus, they published his write, his writing. And it was quite a long time after his lifetime that eventually people produced new theories using his ideas. Okay, theories using his ideas that we changed the idea of the Earth at the centre of the universe. We changed the idea of what we call a geocentric model of the solar system into a heliocentric model, which is the idea that the Sun is at the centre of the solar system. Okay. Now, it was these three chaps, Kepler, Galileo and Newton, who really built on Copernicus' ideas, uh, an important um, innovation that Galileo made that allowed there to be evidence for his model, for this sun-centred model, the heliocentric centred model, heliocentric model. So have a little think of two points you can make of why you think that the Copernican model was not widely accepted until many years after he had passed away, after had passed. Well, the two points that you should make, probably the first one is the idea that many people, or most people, held deeply, they deeply held oops, deep religious beliefs. Okay, and the deep religious beliefs that were opposed that idea. Okay, and this is one of those interesting times where religion and science um, have a little bit to say about each other. Uh, now, that's not to say, of course, that religion can't exist alongside science, but it's an interesting point where something, some innovation, some idea is, is difficult to become accepted because of people's strongly held religious beliefs. Important to say that many or most people, if you don't put that many part in there, it's not really a valid point. Now, I said that Galileo was an important person in this, because what Galileo did was he developed the, the telescope. Okay, so um, at Copernicus's time, the technology wasn't available to give the evidence that was needed. Okay, so let's put that. The technology was developed later to give evidence.
Okay, and I'll put this down, um, the telescope. And Isaac Newton, he worked on optics as well. And Kepler took uh, many, many readings, lots of data from his observations. And that technology eventually provided the evidence for the heliocentric model. I'll just write that down there as well. Helio centric model okay the sun helio last one here then in 2009 an asteroid called Alma <laughs> Almahata Sita collided with the earth's atmosphere it exploded in the atmosphere and small fragments were found on the surface of the earth the asteroid, asteroid was identified as on a collision course with the Earth only 19 hours before it collided. Why was it only identified um, only 19 hours before the collision? Now, they say suggest, so they're not expecting you to know. They're not expecting you to have heard of this. Okay, so just think of some ideas. of Why it might it have been difficult to see, do you think? What things, we talked about technology that we have. Have a think about who was looking at what time and have a think about the relative size do you think it does tell you that only small fragments were found on earth it wasn't big enough to have a large uh, part of it collide with the earth okay pause the video now have a get some ideas down get two down because it's a two mark question okay well i, I imagine that one you thought of was probably a relatively small um, yeah, asteroid. So it's difficult to spot. Okay, not a very bright asteroid, not a very bright um, light in the sky. So you'd actually need a very large telescope to see it. So uh, you know it's not possible to view with the naked eye. Or powerful telescope to see it, and the point is, we're not always watching, okay. We're not always watching all of the sky at any one time. Okay, so any two of those or the similar ideas. Okay, next question.